this microscope is so cool. So it comes just like this. You just take it out of the box. No setup needed. It comes with a built-in battery that's rechargeable. So you can just turn it on. It has a light to illuminate whatever you want to look at. Super easy to use. You can just use these knobs to raise or lower the plate. And then if you need to focus, you can just do fine tune focusing here. If you want to do a digital zoom, you can even do that using these buttons. You can zoom in even further digitally. You can adjust how bright or dim you want the light to be. And it even has a slot for an SD card. So if you want to take some photos, you can easily do that. This is how the microscope arrives. I appreciate that you don't really have to put anything together. It just comes as one unit. You have a cleaning cloth and a USB-C cable. You can plug in the USB-C to charge the built-in battery. If you want to turn it on, you press the power button. Welcome. Well, thank you. As soon as you turn it on, there is a light to illuminate what you are looking at. And then you've got this for focus. And then you can move this up and down. You also have clips if you want to put a tray on there. This does not rotate, but it is the perfect angle for if you are sitting. I think I'll start with this $2 bill. So here's a good look at it. Let's look at it through the microscope. Oh, wow. It is already in focus. That is really cool. So let's zoom up as much as we can. So you can see it is getting out of focus. We'll have to change that later. All right. And this is as far as it will go. You can see there's about a centimeter gap, but now we can just focus. And that is really easy to focus. Wow. That is cool. Is that George Washington? Everyone's wearing wigs. All right. So there is the number two and that's what it actually looks like. Okay. So let's have a look at the A in America. So if you want to do a digital zoom, you can zoom in even more. I'm going to just press and hold this. That's digitally zoomed four times. That is as far as you can zoom. Not bad. So let's have a look at the resolution. The default is 1080p, but you can go lower if you want to, I guess, for some reason. We'll keep it at that. You can change the language to English, Chinese, Chinese traditional simplified or Japanese or a bunch of other languages. You can set the time, set a screensaver time for the flicker settings. You can set it to 50 or 60 hertz. I think we are 60 hertz here. I don't notice the difference. That's good news. Really basic and simple operation. Next, let's look at a Filipino peso. So you can see I can move these clips onto it. Pretty crazy. It is hard to tell what that is. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is cool. I didn't realize that was text before. That is really cool. Let me show you this. Here's a look at the coin just through the camera. I thought this was just textured metal. This is all tech. That's impressive. There is absolutely no way you could see that without the microscope. This was sent to me so I could make this video. This is just a fun thing to have around at the home. It's so much fun for kids. They can just put whatever they want to under it and look at things blown up really big. Fascinating for me too. I really like this as well. I used to do some coin collection, so it's nice to look at the coins up close. I really just like how simple and easy it is to use. This thing is great.